So we're going to pop into your universe, okay, for the next 24 hours. Um, I find that there's not really an emergency situation present. However, if I feel that it's brewing, um, at least the intention here is to ward that energy off, okay? I feel like there's just some energies in your universe that you're not really at liberty to defend anymore um, with the Seven of Wands coming out in the reverse. Normally, the Seven of Wands depicts someone that is standing up for something. If you see, um, I'm sorry, with it being the Seven in the Wands, I feel like maybe some of you guys are wanting to stand up excuse me, for more of your own luck, your own opportunities, your own blessings, your own miracles, your own big break. Uh, if it's not that energy, it could very much so be that there's just messages that I feel like are maybe getting mixed up or there's some something in terms of like confusion or I feel like someone doesn't know how to let go or someone doesn't know how to let bygones be bygones. Um, here with the Ten of Swords in reverse, I do feel like there is a lot of energies in your universe where you are protecting yourself. And I feel like you're doing a very good job of trying to protect your peace or trying to protect yourself from some sort of mental defeat. But then also at the same time, I feel like protecting yourself from like some type of warfare or weapons unknown. One thing I've always found very interesting about this card or the imagery here, like how he's kind of looking over his shoulder. It's like you almost ask the question, like, is he looking over his shoulder because he just won a battle or is he looking over his shoulder because he's plotting to run up on these two dudes over here? Okay, so I feel like the plots are misfiring. Okay, I feel like the gates or the veil of some type of protection has amplified and risen around you. I feel like you're learning to just really just be at peace with yourself, maybe even be a little bit more excited to discover new ways to kind of like hone in on some new skills. This could be a new hobby that you're picking up. This could be more payments and opportunities for you to expand some type of skill set or hobby. Seeing the Three of Pentacles come out in the reverse, I feel like somebody here you may not really care about a lot of other people anymore and I'm and I'm not saying that in an insensitive way I feel like I'm just saying it like you just you're not going to be in this energy of a beggar like I feel like you're not going to be in this energy of feeling like quiet or t shy or timid it's almost as like you're you're speaking up for yourself and discovering new qualities and new miracles about yourself that's like hey I don't really have to play this role of like waiting for somebody else to balance the skills for me. I'm going to listen to my intuition and go for my aspirations, go for my dreams. Some of you guys, this could be maybe e-commerce or online shop. It could be that you have some creative projects that you're blazing through, okay, this next 24 hours. I just feel like here with this Queen of Cups, mother energy is significant here. A lot of remote healing. Um, I, I want to say this, and I do not think that I'm talking to you if you are not... Um, Black or uh, Latino, Hispanic, because I have not seen this in any other culture other than these. One thing I have found on a quest of wanting better for myself and the the area I'm in now, I've I've been in this area before I was even reading tarot on the Internet. However, it is thankfully because of divination a lot of things have been enhanced in my reality. And I feel like I'm talking to someone here, like, especially if you're a person of color, one thing I've learned when you're in more suburban areas, this may happen in the city, but, um, but when you're in certain areas where the diversity really just ain't diverse, or it's not as diverse as you need it to be, or want it to be, a lot of times you can find yourself in situations where people think that they can provide better solutions for your children than you can. And I feel like what's happening here, this next 24 hours in particular, like your ancestors, your spirit team, even your team is like, we aren't sending out this org vibration for whatever these entities are to back off. We're sending out this org vibration for these entities to just stop. Like, halt. Because you have to think, like, back off could be like, you know, it's 30 days go by, six days, six weeks, a few hours, and then that energy is back. But here it's just almost as if, like, there's, I feel like there's going to be something new, a dream, 
some type of miracle, something that really makes your inner child smile. Even if you, um, for some of you guys, even if you have kids, like is there's still that inner child that exists in children. So it, it feels like something just very, very exciting, very miraculous, very um, private. I've been saying that a lot of my readings, you guys, that um, is happening. Yeah. So it's like you can be in a space of embodying your intuition more, learning to be at peace with your discernment. Cause I, I don't know why some people make it seem like the gift of discernment is always easy. Or some people make it seem like just because you know, <laughs> it makes it easier. Sometimes knowing makes it harder. And here with this moon energy, maybe some of you guys are conscious of the spell work around you. Maybe you're conscious of your energy. Maybe you're conscious of the illusions that, you know, someone or something could be trying to unveil in your universe and cause you havoc. I feel like a lot of people are just a little bit too comfortable with you playing small. So you may need to stop playing small. I feel like there is some people that just very much so it's almost this comes out a lot in Scorpio. It's like, here's this burden. Here's that burden. So it may not even be physical activity that's happening in your universe, Scorpio. This could just be people or just just the weight of people you guys are um, feeling. I also feel like I'm talking to very enlightened Scorpios or um, neurodivergent Scorpios, because I find that some of the things that I say in my readings, especially as having a child that is neurodivergent and a Scorpio, it's like sometimes like some of the energies like I pick up that we're transmuting, putting out into the collective, because I do generally feel like sometimes <laughs> I'm not transmuting like what I know, sometimes I feel like I'm transmuting what they know. And it's almost as if like the Scorpio energy comes out very much so like something needs, like burdens need to be alleviated from you, whether they are emotional or whether they're just like in your body. Um, somatic therapy could be great. I've talked about that before. Moving your body. This could be stretching. This could be... um you know, some type of walk. This could just be water, you know, hydrating your body. Obviously, um, hydration does not replace movement, but hopefully you guys are catching my drift. So I hope this helps somebody in some way, shape or form. Bye.